going from a Division II football player to being an undrafted free agent in 2018 to being mainly a special teamers and now being one of the most effective pass rushers in the NFL, Dennis Gardeck's story is definitely very interesting to watch. Dennis Gardeck is averaging a sack every 14 plays, and that is in total 5 sacks and 69 plays. Of course it's a small sample size, but let me break down the film and show you guys why I think this kid can be special. Jumping into this first play, I want to highlight some of Dennis's power, his hand placement, and his knee bend. So pre-snap here, we got a little tech stunt ran by the Cardinals here, tackle and crosser here. So at the snap of the ball, I really want to focus on how this guard does a great job. He gets in great position here, passing off the three tech and comes back to pick up Dennis. But this is where Dennis counters and beats the guard. Look at his knee bend, look at his pad level. He's so low that when that guard extends out to punch him, he's actually punching high and his punch goes above Dennis's shoulder pads here. Now we see Dennis gets his hands inside right on the breastplate and this is just straight power and this is a straight bowler rush. Carries the guard straight back into the pocket, extends, sheds, picks up an easy sack on Daniel Jones. Once again, we'll run it from the top so we can see it happen at full speed. Just focus on Dennis's knee bend, his power, his hand placement, and his bowler rush. Jumping into this next play, once again, I want to focus on Dennis's power, his bull rush, and his hand placement. He's clocking in at six foot, 230 some pounds. How he bullies linemen that are six inches and 100 pounds heavier than him is just so impressive. Pre snap here, we see the Cardinals. They're going to run another stunt here. They're going to slant the nose tackle, and Dennis is going to loop back around. And at the snap of the ball, as he loops back around, check out the guard. He's ready for him. The guard sees him coming, but look at this. Dennis gets right up in the breastplate. The guard misses his punch, hitting the outside shoulders of Dennis. Dennis has his hands right on the breastplate of the guard. And once again, this just turns into a bull rush. Straight power. Who's stronger? Dennis is going to walk him straight back into the golf, and he's going to make the guard actually sack golf here. Once again, I'm going to run it from the top just so we can really appreciate Dennis's power, his bull rush, how he punches nice and tight, and just drives and bull these linemen that are so much bigger than him. We've highlighted Dennis on the interior and how he uses a bull rush to dominate guards. Now I want to flip gears and I want to see him on the edge. I want to see him go against tackles and this is where I think he shines the brightest at. And it's really his first step quickness off the ball. Look how quick he gets off the ball here. The tackle loses his base just to try to keep up with him. Now he's going to convert the speed rush into a bull rush. His speed the bull is so deadly because now we see he's so low the tackle misses his punch once again and all that speed and all the momentum that was carrying him off the line of scrimmage is now converting straight into the power bull rush here into the breast play to the tackle which he drives straight back into Joe Flacco picking up a very easy sack once again I'll run the play from the top just to focus on his first step quickness and his ability to convert his speed into power hopping into this next play I want to focus once again on Dennis working on tackles on the outside this time I want to highlight how he sets up moves off of his speed to bowl and how he's not just a one-trick pony so you see at the snap of the ball here, just look at his first step quickness. Look how quick he gets off the ball. So twitchy, and now he flashes like he's going to go speed to bowl. The tackle sees it. He's going to extend out. He's going to punch to try to slow down that momentum from Dennis. And now Dennis has set it up perfectly. He catches the tackle overextended. Now he's going to club away the punch, swim right back inside, pick up an easy sack on Joe Flacco. All the play roll from the top one more time so we can see it happen at full speed. Once again, just keep an eye on Dennis's first step quickness, how twitchy he is off the ball and how he's able to flash at speed to bowl and how he counters it with the club swim back inside. Just a really nice play to highlight Dennis's ability to set up his rushes and how he's able to build moves off of his main rush. We've seen a lot to like about Dennis. We've seen his power. We've seen his hand placement. We've seen his speed to bowl rush. We've seen a lot of good things from him. But there are some negatives we do have to talk about, and it's the sample size. We've only seen him play in 69 defensive snaps. He's mainly a special teamer. But in those 69 defensive snaps, I do have to stress, he's picked up five sacks. That's a sack in about every 14 plays. That's incredible production, and he's incredibly efficient when he does see the field. So even though the sample size is little, he is incredibly productive when he does see the field. Now after that, we do have to address he's six foot, 230 some pounds, so he is a little bit undersized, he looks a little small, but don't let, the, don't let the looks fool you. We've seen in these clips, he bullies 300 plus pound offensive linemen. He can play. He may be a little small. He may struggle in run defense. But at the end of the day, rushing the passer and bullying offensive linemen, he can do that. We've seen it clip after clip here. And I think going from an undrafted free agent in 2018 to becoming a special teamers and a former Division II player, he can't be upset with the path his career is taking. On a Cardinals team that's working towards a playoff berth, he's finding a role and he's being extremely productive for a solid football team that'll do it for the film breakdown though let me know your guys thought on dennis gardeck did you know who he was before the video let me know what you guys think of him as a player but i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya